Hey, what's going on, guys? D017 here, bringing you a Battlefield 4 video today from the dragon's teeth. Or should I say I'm bringing you this video from the dragon's mouth? Right. Anyway, today's video is on propaganda. A little late with this video, but let's just go ahead and jump right into it. Starting off with some conquest. Just unlock the bulldog right there on that kill. Very easy assignment to do. You don't even have to try to get it. It's just killing 10 assault, 10 support, 10 recon, and uh, 10 engineers while they are on foot. Pretty much one of those challenges that you just don't even have to focus on. It just comes straight to you. And this map, a lot of people think, are is one of the best maps by far. It has a lot of resemblance to Bad Company 2, in my opinion. Especially on the far left side of the map there you can completely destroy that entire side of the map bring down every single building and just flatten the entire area and just definitely has that bad company to destruction there aren't aren't a lot of wide open spots that you can just get caught in 24 7 unless you're trying to cross the, cross the road to get on to the other side of the other positions right now i'm on one specific side of the road over here there are two positions and one of the spawns but to my left and I do believe you will see it later on in the video I'll talk about it then you'll see me trying to cross the road as a recon and when there are a lot of guys in the area and you have all the positions on one side and the other team has all the positions on the other side crossing the street can get a little chaotic but I like chaos that's the reason why they call it battlefield for all-out warfare nothing nothing is really predictable about these maps so far to me because the way you can just flank just come in from any and every direction it's just you, you really can't predict enemy movement unless you have I don't know a lot of positions and they only have one and there's only a select few places to go right now as you see I'm stuck on the position trying to help my team capture and I don't know what direction they're coming from I'm just 360 and around trying to stay alert just try not to die and right here I'm using the new CS5 sniper rifle which by far is my favorite as I'm on my challenge to become a great sniper got that 4-4 Rick Grimes action right here three kills with the magnet would have been four but teammate killed that guy so I didn't need to this guy right here trying to catch me in that counter knife no sir Get, you, you can take that seal right back I don't need that I'm pretty sure I'll find you and give you a nice little no, I don't, I don't want to say that because the, the knife I'm using is called the BJ2. <laughs> so it would sound a little awkward. Anyway, see, this, this sniper rifle is so powerful up close. It is literally one of the best close quarters sniper rifles. Kind of like the JNG was back in Battlefield 3, how great it was at close quarter sniping. This CS5 sniper rifle is the equivalent of it. It comes with a suppressor, which. I really would not recommend using it unless you're in an area like the, the, on the position that I'm in right now, uh, position C, because the range drop on that thing is so significant that the rifle itself barely has any range on it at all. It's one of the lower ranges because, like I said, it is a close quarter range sniper rifle, so it's going to need to have some drawbacks. Its drawback is it does not have that much range, but the fire rate is up there with. I want to say the Scout Elite C, uh, Scout Elite sniper rifles and those higher fire rate ones. I believe this is either the this is the fastest fire rate sniper rifle, or it is the second fastest fire rate sniper rifle. But with the quick bolt action and put a straight pull bolt on this thing, and it is just you know, my race to beat the train right here. And I just barely make it across. But the thing is, I get trapped right here, and like I was saying earlier, trying to cross the street and taking out some guys. I took out that engineer before he could get his sights on me, waiting for the train to pass so I can move again without getting shot. I'm trying to track this support player right here. Miss a few shots on him, but I eventually get him. Support pl uh, shot placement. Like I said, the shot uh, um, bullet drop is significant. Just shooting him from where he to where he is, the bullet is dropping a little bit, and I have to aim a little high at the tip of his forehead but I still managed to stick the shot anyway thanks guys for joining me on propaganda video today and stay tuned for more